It has finished Hearts nil, Istanbul Bishik Shekir 4 at Tyne Castle Park tonight in the opening group stage match of the UEFA Europa Conference League for Robbie Nielsen's side. It was a night to forget. They went down after 26 minutes. It was Hassan Ali Kaldemir who got that opening goal with an arrowed left-footed shot into the top right corner, leaving Craig Gordon with no chance. Uh, as the teams came out for the second half, they observed a minute's silence to mark the late passing of Queen Elizabeth II. Istanbul Beşik Şehir, they went on to dominate the second half. They got a further three goals, That the first one coming in the 55th minute. It was a free header for substitute Yusuf Ndiashimai. It was the ball whipped in from the goal scorer, the left back. Great cross into the box from the corner and there it was, the substitute just to power his header home with, without a marker anywhere near him inside that six-yard box. It was Okaka, the striker who was brilliant all evening, that managed to get the third goal. He bulldozed his way through the Hearts defence, leaving Alex Cockton on the floor before releasing his left-footed shot beyond Craig Gordon. The fourth goal, it was another deflection similar to Okaka's. It was Ozcam who picked the ball up on the edge of the box. He'd done well to shift the ball onto his left foot and then uh, released his strike on his left foot. The strike, it was then deflected off of the Hearts defender and leaped over Craig Gordon before finding its way into the back of the net. It was not a great night at all for Robbie Nielsen's side. And here's what he had to say after another weak performance. Yeah, no, and that's, at this level, you get two or three chances in the game and you know, against Zurich and so on tonight, we've been taking you know, that first opportunity with a header, but, you know, if we take that, it's a different game, but, you know, it's all of some buts. You know, again, it's a, a big learning curve for us all. We, we wanted a team that competes regularly at this level, and tonight we competed for 45, 50 minutes, and then after that, I don't think we did, but that was down to us. Two things, down to us losing the shape, but also down to um, the opposition having real quality and starting to take the game away from us, so it was a... A disappointing outcome at the end of the game and a disappointing last probably 30 minutes, but prior to that, I was very, very proud of the players tonight.